Well, folks, this is it. This has been a crazy day. Been day trading a little bit. Going to make a trade for my normal portfolio on this video as well. I'm excited. It, oh, it's a tale of two cities today. For those who are wondering, we're going to get right into it. And as you can see, the, the TMF getting smoked today because we had some issues. And that's why you're seeing the red up here. They are very strongly correlated. You're going to see a lot of movement in the markets that go ahead with the bond. So I think there was a 10-year, the 10-year the auction today wasn't as heavy as they thought it was going to be in terms of what they were expecting in terms of the buying. So whoo, it has been something else. So we're, we're going to get on here. First things first, hit that like button, hit the subscribe, but I'm going to be buying some stocks. I'll give a few minutes here before everybody gets in here, before we make the buys. I'll start out with this. So for those who know, I'm on my mission to become a, a Ethereum millionaire. This is the first step. We went from 800 and something, now over 1,000, now over 2,000. Uh, once we see this hit up there, that will be big. Now I'm going to give a, a message out. Mrs. Mo, can you do me a favor? Can you go ahead and put this announcement out? Well, it, it should work. I think it already went out, but we should be good. Anyway, so uh, here we go. So Ethereum over 2,000 a piece. For me to hit that Ethereum millionaire, I believe I need to hit it at 7,000 a piece. So we got a long ways to go, but I keep dollar cost averaging in over the last week. Nice gain, 11.4 over the last month, 28.78. But that's not what we're here for. We're here to do some buying. So I'll give this right up front. I'm going to let everyone know down below. We're going to do shout outs. We're going to do it all. Diego, we got we got all kinds of people. We got the Pigeons Club in the house. We got everybody in here from Florida's back in the house. Uncle Mo is here. Kevin, hope you're doing well. Zach, hope everything is here and it, it, we're going to do well. I uh, love you too. Everything is good. Big bro, stock Mo in the house. You know, I know what Bo doesn't know. So keep that in mind, folks. Bought my first 10 shares of TMF today. That is good. Uh, I appreciate that, my friend. Sup, Mo? We are all in the house. The Dizzy Dino. Talking about alliteration. Yes, I'm an educated person. I know alliterations. I love them. Tesla looks low, by the way. And I called that. I said Tesla would be, uh, it's the one, it, the chart-wise is not running well. Boston in the house. Uh, Warren, that was my grandfather's name, Warren. Great name. Uh, we, we got here. Hi, Mo. How are you doing? Salia? I don't know if I'm saying that right. If I didn't, I do apologize. Uh, TMF. We got all kinds of good things in here. DD, great afternoon so far. We'll see. Well, Apple hit 188 this week. Well, I'm buying. I'm letting you know ahead of time I'm buying. So I'll be buying Apple here live on the channel. Uh, I did let everybody over the Discord know and the Patreon know already in an announcement. So if you're not a part of my Patreon, you should be, and that gives you an eye, that gets you access to private Discord or private Discord plus the private live streams, which I only do over there. And so we do it there, and I do it over at the Stock Squad as well. But that is an opportunity for everyone. Delaware, Delaware here, folks. That's where we're at. Ohio in the house. Uh, hello, my friend Alvin. I hope everything is okay. The Rob Father in the house. Hey, hey, hey. I'm buying Apple too. Buy it with, you know, I can't tell you what to buy or sell. I'm just telling you I'm buying. Houston, Texas in the house. I'll buy it live right in front of everybody too. So you guys are going to know. I'm not BSing. I like to be the most transparent YouTuber I can be. So that's what we're doing. Uh, scooped up some TMF, 5K on that drop. Listen, Steve, there is no doubt in my mind that things are going to get ugly before the end of 2024. So even though if we get a little ugly and snout right now with the TMF and the price, and, hey, it's dropping, it's up, over, down, all over, it's because the auctions didn't go well for the Fed. And that usually means because the markets are getting a little hot, people are moving money back into the market. So where we see the downside with the temporary with the treasuries, once that euphoria for the market, in my opinion, is this, you're going to see around uh, the third week of November, say the 21st, roughly uh, going into the next two weeks, you're going to see a nice rebound all the way up to, uh, well, we'll say give it a couple weeks of a rebound there. So you'll have two to three weeks of good times. Then from the holiday, the last week of December into the first week of January, that last week, last seven days, from the, say, Christmas all the way up to January 1st or 2nd, you're going to see a rebound again. So pay attention to what I just said. So roughly the 20, 21st of November, all the way up uh, for a couple of weeks, like two to three weeks, and then you're going to have a little reprieve. And then from Christmas on to the end of the year, you're going to have another bounce up. 
And these two bounces, these, and it's going to be a sandwich. You're going to have the, the bread is the good stuff. Then we're going to have rotten meat in the middle. The rotten meat's going to be a little bit of a pullback. So from now until that 2021st of November, I expect roughness. I expect a little bit of a pull down. But then I expect a big time push up. So everybody who is wondering, where are you getting this from? It's historical data. The historical data tells us that roughly around the 20, 21st of November, we have a push up for a few weeks. Then a little bit of a lullaby and a little bit of a reprieve, a little bit down. But that last week, call it the Christmas rally. We had it last year. We had it the year before. It happens because the hedge funds, the ETFs out there, they all have to do what they need to do. And when they're doing that, it gives a little bit more power to the market for that last week. So pay attention, take notes, make sure you, if you're you're kind of trading this, that's how you look at it. So uh, I also look at the charts though. So I'm not going crazy heavy today into Apple, but I am buying Apple uh, for everyone who is looking. Ian, hi, how, well, I hope everything's going well. Jacksonville back in the house again. Michael, hope everything's good. Atlanta. I uh, hope everything is great. I haven't been, I haven't been down in Atlanta in a while, but last time I was there, I absolutely loved it. Great people. Everybody was so so nice and stylish, and uh, it's just an awesome town. Uh, hi, Mo Tesh. Hope everything's all right. West Virginia, good. Oh, we got all kinds of good things going on. Hope everything is good. We got Mississippi, North Carolina, Hanover, Pennsylvania. I think they make those pretzels down there, if I remember, Rob Father. Uh, Denmark in the house. We got everywhere around the country. We'll do the shout outs and we're going to get trading. Then we got Louisville, Kentucky, Boogie Bronx, New York in the house. Salute from Europe, the godfather of the, the GF of Mo, Warren Buffett. Now nah, he, you know what, Warren, I learned a lot from Warren. I'm not even going to kid you. I'm not even going to talk garbage on him. He's actually uh, the person I looked up to as a young man in my teenage years, all the way up through uh, my studying and working for uh, as an, a, a financial advisor for American Express that in education, I tried to model my teachings after his professor, Benjamin Graham. And I made the kids in my class read The Intelligent Investor. I want you to think about somebody making 17 and 18 year old kids read The Intelligent Investor, testing them on it. And a lot of these kids, a couple of them went on to be in Wall Street. And it made such a big influence that he is going to be able to make uh, changes long after he's passed and gone and everything uh he will make a better people out there believe it or not so yeah north korean in the house that's that's incredible <laughs> that's incredible brazil is buying uk morgantown west virginia hello again we are always in the house north carolina stock market yeah we got it don't worry we're gonna get there orlando ohio iowa jersey high mo starting new that's what i'm talking about we got this stuff all right, uh, Washington State in the house. We got Florida in the house, Memphis in the house, San Fran in the house, Minnesota. Unfortunately, I want to tell you where I'm at, Daniel. It is 70 something degrees right now. I let the cats out back to run around. So Tessa Cat is not with me today. Fort Collins, Colorado, stonks. What I mean by that is a screened in outside so they can't get away. Uh, Malvern, Malvern, Pennsylvania. Never heard of that one. Uh, Spain in the house. That's awesome. Warren Buffett, Benjamin Graham are the ideal people to listen to. They are the kings of uh, fundamentals. For those who do not know, Benjamin Graham was the professor of Warren Buffett. And uh, you know what? The Intelligent Investor, absolutely one of the best fundamental books you ever want to read. For those who actually do want to become great fundamental and technical traders, two things you can do. One, read The Intelligent Investor. It's all you need. It's free. It is. You can go on there. You can Google it. It's free. You can download it. And... Uh, the other thing you can do for the technical part is my course is coming live, should be late next week. Uh, we've been working on it. We worked on it till three in the morning again last night, me and Mrs. Mo. This thing is going to be, I think it's going to be incredible. And it's going to be a place where people can learn in a safe, friendly environment where you can ask questions. It is next level. Imagine being with the, a, cool, a cool teacher who actually is patient, loves what he does, and is willing to answer your questions as well as a lifetime access to all the new materials that will go into this over the next year or two. This is going to be big. And security analysis, there you go. Uh, Chicago, Puerto Rico in the house. I want to go down and visit there very, very soon. Uh, UAE in the house from the Philippines. Cold, Londoner. Yeah, you guys got to be freezing. It's cold in some places, man. Reading PA in the house. Uh, Reading PA, I always think possible. I always think Yingling, uh, Yingling Lager, Yingyang Lager. 
Uh, good afternoon. Absolutely so far. Everything's good. Connecticut, I got a lot of stories for you guys after we get through this. So don't worry. This is the part I'm always going to do because you come first. I want shout outs to everybody. Uh, I want everybody to see their name up there because it's important. We are here. We are doing this. Talk, please. Classified. Yes, we got it. We got it. All right. All right. Let's get this thing up. Let's get this. We got Batesville, Alabama, uh, Arkansas. I almost said Alabama. Uh, Arkansas in the house. We got all kinds of people in the house, India in the house, Orlando in Miami. I just got back from Orlando. Loved it down there. Gatlinsburg. Love it down there. Been there as well. I've traveled a lot of the United States. Uh, so we got all kinds of things going on there. Bethlehem. All right, let's get into it, though. Let's get into it. We got PA in the house, Bethlehem in the house. Uh, a lot of good stuff going on. So put hit the like button for me. If I gave you a shout out, do me one favor. Let's do it. We got JP about the chalk out there. What, what's he doing? At two o'clock? It's two o'clock. We'll see how it goes. But right now, you can see I pulled up the Apple chart. And for those who are watching, I just told you what I expect. I'll tell everybody again. Here is what we got. We got the chart for Apple. Very, very green. Way too much green in such a short period of time. So here's what I'm thinking. I don't know if we just go. And here's the thing. Do we go sideways a little bit and then up? We get consolidation over and up. Some people are calling for uh, retracement down to the 50. And I'm going to show you this. And I'm going to tell you this. This is what I'm thinking. And you could see this, but this could be the most likely scenario right here. And I'm not sure that happens, though. I'm not sure. I actually think by the 20th, if we're sideways, you're going to see the next leg up. And we actually have enough momentum coming from the hedge funds. They're moving a massive amount of money into stocks right now. And so even though you have these, these periods where we have a little bit of red, it's healthy. Look at all these green days in a row. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Or I should say candles in a row. We uh, actually finished lower here. So uh, long story short, though, uh, one, two, three, four, five days higher. Finished a little lower the next day. Six, seven, eight. Eight out of nine days up. Folks, that is big. And so having a day or two of red is actually healthy for this market. So you guys have to understand that this is how a normal move looks like this. Now, I know a lot of the pros out there following technical things, how that's going to go. I'm actually saying this to you. What happens if it's not that? What happens if it's this, 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 and then uh, we'll pull this up one more. Let's go this one. Uh, what happens if it's this up over and this? That's how I think people are out there. They're missing it because we could do this. Everybody's thinking, oh, well, it's going to go all the way down. It could. But I'm telling you, the, the 2021st of November is a, a historical period where we see a move up. Call it the Thanksgiving dessert, baby, because that's what we usually see. And we're going to see a lot of buybacks, everything. Everything happens out there. I see that down there. You are not wrong. There, There's a lot of things going on out there that people don't realize have to happen by the end of the year. And in that usually brings a lot of bullish action. And so I do want people to realize that we are in that, that period now. we got about a week or two here before we really get into the thick of it. But yeah, it's going to be pretty bullish. So yeah, get through these next 10 days, 12, what, what, what's the day today? Get, get through these next 11 days. And then the last week and a half of November, look back at this. You can tell me I'm wrong if I'm wrong, but if I was right, I want a little bit of credit. And then after those a week or two in that that to finish out November into December, we have another law. That's where I have the sideways again, right here. And then after that, you have that big push at the end of the year. And then, and you heard my warning, this is not going to be what happens here with number five. This is going to be what happens with number five. Yeah, I know you don't like seeing that, but that is going to be when everything starts to collapse because we do go into recession. And you have this euphoria here. And this is where you start locking up, put trailing stops, buy put options as protection, uh, protection. I'm not telling you what to do as financial advice, educational. If you think there's a recession, that's what you do. If you believe I'm wrong and there's no recession, you believe this is the most likely thing right here that we're going to have one of the biggest bull cycles and it already started. You just set your trailing stop then. Because if you do a trailing stop and I'm wrong, there's no harm, no foul. Why? What's a trailing stop do, Mo? Say you are right here. We get up here. We all agree. We get here, but we disagree on the next leg. All right. If you think it's going to go higher and I think it's going to go down, neither of us have a crystal ball. 
anything can happen. Another war, anything can happen. So what you do at this point is you say, all right, Mo, I'm up a good 20% on my, my trade. I'm willing to give 10% back if, if we have a, a major push down, but I don't think we are. So I don't want to sell half. I want to hold it. I think it's going to go higher. So you just set a 10% trailing stop loss. Say you're up, you know, it goes up, whatever. You can set a trailing stop loss of whatever you want it to be percentage wise. So at that point, it goes up. Uh, you No home, no foul. You still have all your stock. But if it does drop that 30% down, you sold out at only a 10% and you're still up money and you're happy. And so it covers you. So that's why I like trailing stop losses. So I do want to make sure everybody understands that we can protect ourselves here, folks. All right. Now, I talked about a few things here. Let's get into it. I got Apple stock right here. I got 10 shares of Apple. I know this is hard to read, but right here, we got 10 shares of Apple. Uh, I'm going to buy 10 shares. At, how much are they a share right now? 182. So I want to pull this up because let's get, let's get trading, folks. Let's get trading. It's about that. And you can see that the SPY is collapsing right now. So we're going to keep our eye on this. I'm going to take advantage of this red for Apple. You can see it's down at a, a, a bottom again right here. We hit that bottom 180. So I'll pull this up on the chart. Let's get let's get technical with each other here. Apple, we're going to go to the one minute. Actually, going to do the five minute on this. All right. Because this is a stock buy, not an option buy. And this is a long term. So let's take a look. And this is the five minute. And as you can see what's going on here, we did get down a couple of times here. Okay. Well, that was today. Was that today? No, that wasn't today. It was the other day. So let's pull this up. We hit a low of this today. So for those wondering, if I had to guess, this would be about where I'd want to buy. So believe it or not, we are down here already. It tickled that. So I'm all right. I'm going to be buying. This is actually, to me, the perfect time to buy for a longer hold. And that's what this is for me. So I'm buying about two grand worth of this. So I'm going to put that trade through 10 trades or 10, 10 stocks, 182.49, putting that through. There it is. So we bought 10 shares of that. So about two grand of Apple I'm throwing in there. So everybody over at the... Um, the Patreon and uh, every everywhere else we're at know that we just did that trade. So I did want to bring that up. Now, the other thing I'm doing is I'm doing day trading. For those who don't see, you can see my, uh, what do we got here? Da, 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 da. My day trading today has been going very well. I don't know why it's not popping up here. Uh, let's pull up the SPY. Here it is. You can see the day trade profit down here. I'll get rid of my ugly mug. Uh, the day trade profit today so far, it's 200 and 30? I got to wear my glasses, but 230 bucks up today so far. We'll see if we can lose that back. Uh, not the goal. I'm joking, of course, but that's what we're up so far. I did one day trade before I went live. Timed it perfect. Everything was perfect. It was good. Uh, so that's the goal here. So hit the like button for me down below. Let's get this. Let's get this out. There's a Thursday. It's a good day. And we're going to pull up the this, right here. So here's the day trading. I got this up here. Yeah, you can see it right here is what I'm, oh, I'll, I'll, so no, you guys can't, but you can see the profit loss down here. That's how we're doing today. And I'm pulling this up and getting used to all the buttons, guys. All right, now let's take a look at the charts. Let's get into this. I'm ready to start doing some day trading with you guys. Anything I do, please understand this. We, this is the old studio I used to work out of. All right, this is down in the basement, 1972 brick wall. It all began right here. And I'm still the same person, guys. I, I, lo I love everybody. I'm trying to help everybody. This little thing was a gift from my aunt to help me with my channel. I used to move it around every single video. I still have it. The studio is still just like this. I got rid of this couch here, but we still have everything the same. Uh, you can see the paint on the walls up here that I tried to paint the ceiling and I messed up. Uh, there's a picture of my kids and me when I was a younger man. And the TV I look at when I want to sit down here and some old speakers. But that is my setup. So anybody who wants to be a YouTuber, I got a course on that coming. But here is the warning about uh, making sure that everybody understands this for entertainment purposes only. I am about to trade a, a bunch of money and we're going to watch this. And so right now I am ready. I'm going into the spy at the one minute. We're going to go wild, wild west. Anybody that knows anything about the spy, you know the one minute is the most wild. I had multiple lines that I had up. Obviously, I thought if we broke below this line, we would crash down. It did. And so there's a lot of things going on before I guys got you on here. 
everything kind of plays out with technicals. I got to tell you, technicals are a wonderful thing. But if you are not a part of the, the Patreon down below for Stockmo or the Stock Squad, you should sign up today. And Smooth DC, I see you. I see you, my friend. I do need to get the glasses on. Dude, I look like you got a kangaroo hat on like I wear. I wear soup hats all the time, all the way through school, college, everything. Everybody said, you're that dude who wears that, that soup hat all the time. I am. I wear them all the time. I still got them all over the house. I wear them all the time. I have this because this is our trademark logo for uh, Stockmo Corporation. So I got that. Let's see. Mo. You know, Mo Rich, don't mind his gains. $200 gain, man. I, I, hey, I haven't lost track. 200 bucks is a ton of money. Mrs. Mo and I were pumped that we were able to make one trade, made 200 something bucks. I was very happy. Uh, Mo, spy flushing, pal news. I'm guessing. I'm guessing. Mo money in the house, money Mo. Yep. Uh, the, kids at stock, uh, the kids used to call me that over at teaching. They'd be like, Mo money in the house. You know, Mo money, Mo problems, blah, blah, blah. I said, no, Mo money, less problems. That's what it's about. All right. You thought... Your thoughts on SQQQ. Now, obviously, I'm in TQQQ, uh, just so you know. I'm going to be up front and let you guys know what I'm in. I am in TQQQ. I, am, I just told you that I believe over the next week or two, we'll have a little bit of a sideways to down. I'm not going to be surprised today. It has absolutely worked out like I have said it was going to work out. I did it in the videos. I We had such a pump up. We are now in that... Get a healthy turn back down. Now, the, the million-dollar question is where do we go? And I, I'll pull up something. Uh, we'll get a little bit more technical for those who are watching. And because uh, I know there's a lot of people out there that want to know where we go. So let me – I'll give you an idea. Uh, based on what we would expect with the FIB, all right, now, when we come down here and put my teacher hat on, there is a golden zone. I call it the Goldilocks zone. I don't know if other people call it that, but – uh, that's what I call it right in here. This is the Goldilocks zone. I don't want it to see it get down in this zone right in here, but there is a chance that this will come flying back down into this zone and then we're off and running. Uh oh. I just wanted to let you know that. Miss, you this is Mrs. Mo, by the way. And I hear me say, uh oh, because anytime I see her, you see me rewind it, you'll see me go. The policy panel. Rome Powell was attacked by a protester, and so they just stopped it. And what do you mean attacked? Like literally, somebody went went at him. And so they had charged to Jerome Powell. Yeah, charged stop. Uncle JP. They had to stop the whole they, thing. Did they did they, did they did they actually get hands on JP? I don't know because I was trying to do two things at once and I was listening, but I saw them come up and a couple of bodyguards like protecting him, and then. They rushed him out, and um, they did the guy actually face. touch him? It was a girl. A girl uh, tried. It doesn't she, matter. She did climate change protester? Oh wow. Okay. I, I tried to remind. Couple of things. People. One, we we, we on. do not we do not condone physical attacks of any nature, even in protest. It's not right. Uh, so if JP, as much as I bash him, was attacked, that is not cool. So that may be why you're seeing, but it was from Mrs. Mrs. Moe's telling me, not good. Uh, I, I'm not okay with that. Uh, yeah, so that, that's not cool. Not good stuff there. So it may, that might be why you're seeing what's happening here. And we don't like that. Not good at all. Uh, yeah, Charles in the house. I always want to give him a, a shout out. A shout out. He always is in there. I always appreciate his comments a ton. So yeah, I, I don't like that at all. Once again, like I said, interrupting what JP's out there doing. Not cool. Not cool. Uh, of course, they're, I get it. People want to get their message across. Attacking someone with physical violence is not the answer. And there's no way you can convince me that physical violence is the answer. It's just not right. You can protest. I get it. That, that's a right. But going up and attacking somebody is not. Uh, definitely, you know, mm. Anyways, here we go. Salty in the house. I love it. He's over at the Patreon. Love it. Great stuff in the Discord. Uh, let's see. Climate change hoax again. Well, I'm not here to debate a lot of this, but I am open to you guys uh, giving your opinions. I'm definitely open to that. Uh, what do we got here? Meeting is Paul. How cursed? I don't blame him. I would be, you know what? You want to know what I, I'm old school. I grew up in poverty. 
I grew up with government assistance. Everybody around me was poor. You went to school, you got in fights. You you got off the bus, you got in fights. You went behind the gas station, you got in fights. Tell you what, man, I, I you do not oh no, that's not good. I, I'm not okay with that, man. So if he's cursing, they're lucky that's the only thing he did. Not good. Yeah. Uh anyway, so a lot of stuff going on. Let's make some money off of this, though. Yeah, I'm still about trying to do this. So here we go. That was the golden zone I just showed you right in here. So 423.84 would be the price, just for everyone to know that we would expect this to come down if it's a healthy. And then the lowest I would expect it, eh, <laughs> happy-go-lucky number for a lot of people out here, 420. 420 would be the next number of, resist or of support that we would see. If this came down, I don't want to see it get it down that far, but I wouldn't be overly concerned. I would be a big buyer of that if that happens in the next two weeks. And then at that point, I would expect it to go back up. And I'll make sure we put that on there. Uh, I would expect this to go back up above. And now where it goes after that, I would think it would calm down a little bit. And then at that point, oh, man, I know. Oh, what do you mean, Mo? Yep, there it is. That's what I would expect into Q1, Q2 right here. Uh, for the end of Q4, this is what I'm expecting right here. So that is up to each person. If you buy into what I'm saying, you are already starting to see, because I said this right in here already, exactly what's going to happen. And what are you seeing? Right here. It's happening. So it's using what we know. Uh, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, Daniel, thank you for letting me know. I'm going to put that up there. Is that what he said? Good for him, man. He, you know he's mad. Let let Papa let Papa Pal do his thing, man. Uh, you know we invite him to Thanksgiving dinner, so he's part of the of the stock trading community. Like him or hate him, he's a part of us, man. If you're on here, he he's part of this. He he gives us the information. You, we might not like him every day. There's a lot of days we do. There's days where I'm high fiving that guy if I can because he's made us a lot of money. So wow, yeah that that you know. I'm a little salty about that myself, so I might have to change my name, Salty. Uh, not good. Not good. No. Okay, you say he's back, so he's back in. So good. Let him get his saying over. I'm not going to pull up the video. That is interesting stuff. All right, so that's where I expect this to go. So hopefully that helps all of you. Now let's get back into the day trading. If we had a big push down, which we may have, we might have an opportunity here. Uh, to get a, a day trade in here, I'm going to use the bread recipe. I might even just go with the trend, which I'm already missing it. So let's go ahead and take a look at what everything's. We bought Apple, and you can see I I thought it'd be around the 182 mark, and we're right there. So I'm okay with that. We'll look at this. What's going on? We're at 0.68. Did we? You can see that crash down. Um, let's see. Let's see. This is going to be a tough trade, folks. Look at the. Look at the 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 VIX is spiking up 5%. This is a tough trade. You might want to sit on the sidelines on this one. Let me see how much money I can uh, hopefully make. But, you, you know, the way this looks right now, craziness. Let's go ahead and take a look at the recipe and everything else going on. Are we going to have a snapback? Does Papa Pal save the day? We don't know. But right now, I'm sure the, the treasuries having a weak performance today is affecting the stocks, which I also told you I thought would go backwards, which you're getting. One play could be looking at about two weeks, uh, getting a put option on something two weeks out might be a play too. So right now, watching this, if you're going to trend trade this, you can see what's going on right here. You expected that consolidation. You got under the, um, we got under uh, the, the Bollinger Band. And then you got consolidation, then it continues down. This might be a trend play where we just kind of play the trend. Uh, and right now, the 50 is holding up nicely all the way back to about 1 o'clock. And actually, even before then, uh, all the way back to about 12, it was above it. And then it had a change of, change of character and went below it. And now it's going to stay below, and it looks like it's going to be a weak day. So if we trade this on the trend, we would trade the... Uh, we would trade on that. Now, this is a dangerous, dangerous. Now, using the bread recipe, you can sit here and wait and wait for that, that crossover and maybe a bounce back up. I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I'm watching. SoFi, I told you SoFi was in that, that chart that did not look good. And as much as I love SoFi, I said that SoFi is not looking good technically. Uh, and it's still proven that right now, sadly. All right. Q's looking deep. Oversold level rebound looking likely. I don't know. I'm watching this right now. The RSI. If you guys are watching the RSI, 
we are getting down to my buy zone on the RSI, which I don't know. Like if it gets into the overbought or the oversold here and it gets into the green, that's where I usually like to buy a call option. Uh, I'm looking at all these right now and we're going to take a look at what opportunity we have. I'm trading the spy on this one. Uh, that's what I got right now. So I got the spy. I'm going to do it this way, which is going to be a little bit different. Now, I'm going to do eight, which would be 68. So that's 500. 500. Um, I'm going to keep an eye on this. I didn't buy anything yet, just to tell you. Uh, but I am looking at a snapback, a snapback here, uh, hopefully. This could be one of them cases where everything just kind of goes south and it continues south. And so when you're trying to buck the trend, that is tough. And like I said, I'm up, up day trading today, so I don't want to ruin that. Uh, but at the same time, this looks like an opportunity a little bit. We're going to see. And you can see what's going on right in here. Did we bottom out right here? Did we get to that? If it hits the green, and this, this so you know, the RSI was at 30, which is usually oversold. I use it at 25. And at 25 is uh, where I like to buy. And that's it's a different, it's just playing the RSI by itself right here. You can see it got down there. And it popped up, but then it came the next leg down. So you're getting new lower lows after a little uh, lower highs as well. So you get these lower high, lower high, lower high. And so if we can't get a solid bounce above this, this would be the line I'm looking for that I know that it looks like we could be finally moving in the opposite direction. Uh, we'll see. Uh, but just crossing wouldn't be enough for me. We're seeing it move up. We'll take a look at this. A few things I'm looking at. So it's good to be on YouTube with you all while I'm doing these trades. Um, if you haven't done it, subscribe to the channel down below and you can comment on the videos. All you got to do is just hit subscribe. You can comment over here. It shows up. That's all you do. And uh, for anybody else who would like to get notifications when I'm doing these lives, which I'll be doing every week now, all you got to do is click the bell, hit notifications, hit all. Everybody will be notified. Uh, when we're doing it. So I did share a trade today. Look at that. Nice little rebound. I should have bought into 60. It's all the way up to 90. it would be up about 50% already. Woo! That's the quick move. Look at two minutes, 50% gain. Wow. Well, we're waiting. Yeah, we'll wait for another opportunity here. We'll see what happens if we get the bread recipe. The bread recipe is what I should go for. Be patient. Take advantage of this. Uh, thoughts on SoFi? SoFi is... Um, I had to upgrade this too, by the way. Look, SoFi, we don't want the minute chart. I'm going to show you the day chart. I already showed you guys this, but I'll show it for those asking. This is not looking very good. I said this, I think, yesterday and the day before. We are now in a bearish situation for SoFi. We retested, failed, and now it looks like we're going to have new lower lows. And so I don't like it right now, unfortunately, even though I have some. And that's the down part. And so I didn't want to share that with you. So back to the SPY where we're at here. Back in a minute because I'm ready to make some trades. Uh, and that's what we're looking at. So hopefully that answers your question. So technically not looking great. This is retesting here, new low or low. Uh, if I had to guess, like I said, low, we got a low here, low here. Could that be it? If that is the case, this is what we're seeing, just to tell people. And so I'm looking at these lines and you're seeing this. And it works very patternish like. And so you get these levels where you get bounces up off of the, the new the new lows, new low, and then it gets up and tries to test. It can't, and then it comes back down even more. So I'm trying to figure out how we want to play. If it busts up, that's good. This would be where I would expect major resistance again. And if it can't hold that, then we buy a put and we see where it goes. If it can break that. Then you can buy it because you didn't expect to go from 434 all the way up to 434.90 up to 435.60 or 50. And so that's what I'd be watching. If this can't hold, I expect it to get below this line or at least retest it. Uh, and so I'm looking at a couple things here. So I see some action happening. Now we did break this. As I said, if it can get above there, this is the next line where we had issues. Wow, what are we at? This was 60. Now it's up to $1.16. Oh, man, man alive. 
Here we go. Morgan. Ah, I love when you guys donate. Buy me a cup of coffee. Buy me a brewski. Uh, I love it, Morgan. Thank you very much, Morgan Powell in the house. Any relation, Jerome? I have a uh, uh, uncle, great uncle Jerome, actually. Uh, so that name, even though I have Warren as my grandfather, Jerome as my great uh, as my great uncle, his brother was Jerome. So I do love the names and Morgan Powell. I love it. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Uh, anytime anybody tips a little bit over here, I want you to know it is greatly appreciated. And if you ever, you know, I just thank you. I really do appreciate it. J Powell comes to dinner, you know, Jerome comes over and I always say I have to say JP or JW. My grandfather's last name was Wilson. And so it was Warren Wilson, WW. And of course, Jerome Powell, there we go. Jerome Wilson as well was the great uncle of mine. So you guys are getting a little story of my background. They were farmers. Uh, they ended up, you guys want to know what kind of family I come from? Even though you look at me and you might say, oh, he's a stock guy. He knows his stuff. Well, here's a little story for you. My grandfather, Warren, was so poor. Uh, he left home and was in the war, World War II. And they were so poor and countryish. They lived out in the sticks. Um, what they did, look at this. We might have a turn here, folks. And we are. And that's it. Uh, okay. What are we getting here? What are we getting? Okay. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Too much now, though. Too much for that one. And I don't want to buy. And 10, 60. Keep an eye on it. Anyway, so what he did, and now the, the bread recipe, boom. So we get above here. You want confirmation on this one. So this is the confirmation one using my recipe. Everybody would expect this to be major green, but this is the one you want green if you're going to buy in for a longer change of direction. And right now you have the five cross and the 13. Everything's coming up on this. Believe it or not, we could actually see a good bump. And this minute's almost up. So I'm going to pull the trigger on this half size, half size. And I might even double it. That's why I'm doing a half size because we're close to the Bollinger, which is nerve wracking. But I think we test up here. Uh, and so if this finishes green, that's what I'll do. If it finishes red, obviously, um, there's no confirmation using my recipe, but the we're, we're going to wait and see here. And eh, got a little doji going on there. Uh-oh. And so we don't get the confirmation. That saves me a trade so far. And you, look what happens the next exact time. And that's why you got to be careful. Uh, that's why the safety measures I have in, because you might say, well, Mo, didn't that confirm? No. First one right here above. Then it's down click. I don't, confirmation is not on a down click. And then we are going down again. The, uh, our, the EMAs are confirming, but this did not confirm yet with the RSI. So there's a little bit of weakness here, which is fine. You can play it if you believe this is going to be a change. Now, I am in the boat of being safe with this. Uh, Jim Powell in the house. We got Morgan Powell, Jim Powell. We got the Powell family. Uh, we're going to have to invite you all over to the dinner. Hey, no, you want to be a relation. You want to be a relation. And when he pulls out that money cannon at Easter with all the Easter eggs and money, you want to be like, point it my way, start shooting that thing. And he's just blowing money everywhere. Uh, Tesla's been looking rougher. I see Harsh Deep in there. I, I said the same thing that Tesla's been rough since we did this. I already showed you the grass on that. It's not looking pretty. All right, so we got a little bit of a downturn here, a little consolidation. We got too close to the Bollinger. And now it comes down to get a little consolidation, giving a little bit back. This were three big candles here. Well, a couple of big candles here. Giving a little back does not mean this run is over, but this saves you the trouble by using my recipe. This is what I'm going to be teaching in the class, how to avoid these losses, thinking it's on a run, and you just jump in. You got to take your time. It doesn't mean you're going to be right. It doesn't mean that we're going to make tons of cash, blah, blah, blah. It just it helps to reduce the risk. Uh, and so that's one of the things we're looking at. Uh, meant to send that 10 minutes ago. No problem. No, yeah, I know. It's been crazy. Uh, um, Paul and Tier, uh, Paul and Tier, I don't have that stock. I uh, can pull it up, but I'm waiting for this. Well, we got enough time. I'll pull it up. I pulled up the wrong one. Hmm. Um, and Paul and Tier, if I remember how to spell it, P L T R, that's it. Ooh, okay. All right. So this one did confirm bullish. You're having that normal, healthy pullback. So uh, that's the minute. That's the minute chart. So that's looking. Okay, believe it or not. Uh, we'll see for the day, though. The day chart's what I go for for the longer term. Oh, yeah. Let's see. Yeah, you got confirmation on this. 
This is in a bullish run now. Healthy, and you got a huge gap up. So coming down a little bit is healthy. And then I think you're going to see this run by the end of the year. So if you're in this when you're like, Mo, what do you think? I actually would be bullish on this one. This one I would be bullish on. You're getting a healthy pullback, which is fine. Do not, and my opinion is you will see better days before the end of this year where you're like, whew, good, 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 good. So just to let you know. Okay, let's get back to this. All right, so we're seeing some stuff. And this was an unannounced live stream, by the way. So no one knew we were going to do this. I just jumped out. I did want to give everybody a little bit of, um, uh, I'm trying to answer questions at the same time. Still bearish. That was a pullback potential continuation. I agree. That's why I didn't jump in. Uh, anything I'm doing is playing for like a minute or two. I'm trying to get a quick 10%. I'm, this is not something where I'm like, oh, uh, the market's changed. We're gone. I have a recipe I follow and I have the the levels of support and everything. Now we're back into this channel. I thought I told you if we actually broke this, this would be the next one. And this is the next one. So we got up to this one. Couldn't get up to that. In other words, the bears are very powerful in this zone. So now until you would break that zone, I am very gun shy, if you will, when we get into here about buying anything callish until we get confirmation, which we could get confirmation soon. And we'll see. I'm willing to go either way on this right now. The markets, I'm not sure here, but you can see this. You got to rise up. Everybody thinks it's going to be a bull market. Drop. Oh, it's rising up. We're going to recover. Go back up. Down. Oh, we're rising back up. Everything's going to be great. And we don't know. And so keeping an eye on this. That's what we're watching. Right now, the bread recipe, if you were following that, we did not. You could argue, got it right here. You could argue. You say, well, you're right above it, Mo. And I get it. Um, I don't like messing with the 50 line. I like definitely two, two, two cycles above. Uh, we're bouncing on the 50 right now. Last, and we've been below the 50 forever. And it seemed, and anytime we got above it, we barely did. And then it came back down. It's been a bearish day today. And I told you from what I'm seeing, I still expect more. Um, but the news is out there. The 50. I'm going to play the 50 on this, guys. The 50 has been holding up very strong as a uh, as a resistance. We are on the 50. If I see that get up there, I might buy uh, a couple of put options. So, so let's play. I might, like I said, I'm here to play when it's given to me. And there's no um, no guarantees we're going to be right. I'm not going to go crazy on this. And let's see there. Okay. So what I'm seeing, and I would argue this too, I want to show you multiple perspectives. One, what's this look like to you? Could that be an inverse head and shoulders? Could. Mm. So that would be bullish if that was. Uh, are we riding the 50? Oh, come on. I don't want that on there. Are we riding the 50 as a uh, resistance? We got up there, knocked down, knocked down, got above it, pushed back down, back up again, knocked back down. And then you can see same thing here, same thing here, same thing here. Then you go all the way back up to when it changed character, when it was a support, now it became a resistance. I think, looking at that, that's how I would play this. Uh, not sure what you guys think. By all means, put it in the chat. We're doing this together. Now, I am going to play it again if it gets back up there as a put. I will tell you right now, we're going to play the, the line. It can switch, and I'll set a stop loss, take a loss. I already had one good trade today, up a couple hundred. We'll see if we can get another good trade based off of that. Um, I'm going to be patient for this. And if the bread recipe confirms a change in direction south, I'll also take advantage of it that way. This on a bullish, you got to be, when you have a bearish run in the market and you get a little bullish a couple of minutes, do not think that's the, the change of the game. Usually it's not. It's just a, a trap. And you want to be careful. Now you can see this coming down. The weakness is back. Confirmation here. So it is looking like time to pull the trigger let's go let's get in all right so i'm in on that we're gonna go and we're gonna see i'll set a stop loss on this one just so you guys know i'm not messing around i bought it at 80 
We will do a stop at 30% off and 30% off of 80 is what? We'll say 56. We don't want that to kick out, but that does not a big deal. We'd put us even for the day. Uh, and we don't want to be even for the day. We want to be up. So I'm going to play this as a, a downturn. We broke below this. If it finishes below, I do believe we retest here, and that would be okay. Um, if we finish in here, that's where I'm going to be going. So for people wondering what I'm doing on this trade, that is it. It's just a quick trade. It's not much. Trust me. Uh, it's half of it's a little over half of my normal position. You can see I'm played it a little early on the bread recipe, but confirmation just came the last candle. So I'm okay with that. Confirmation came five cross the 13. And of course, we got that down click. They're fighting it out this zone. So either way, I'm okay. And we will watch how this goes. Uh, we are down a little bit with the green. We'll see how it goes. Like I said, I'm not panicky. Definitely a high risk. Uh, this is definitely a high risk trade. Keep that in mind. Do not just think, oh, man, he got in. It must be gold. It's not. Do not get into this trade. Just watch this. Just entertainment. Make money or lose money. You can say, wow, you know, you can just see how it goes. And the thing is, it's like watching paint dry at this point. Uh, you get the green, red, red, green, red. Don't be surprised to see a little fight here. But like I said, with what I'm seeing here, a red should should happen. Um, we'll find out. And I will take some profit once I get a chance, just so you know. And not that I'm doing it yet, but I do. How many did I have? 10 shares. I'm not greedy like most people think. I do like to lock in a little bit of a gain. There it is. We're going to take that gain, half of it. We're going to move it, move it. Come on, come on. Confirm. Jeez. Wow, big gain. Big gain, 25% gain, more than that up. That's what I'm talking about. Another $275 on that trade hit the line that I told you. So I do want to be not too greedy. I do want to take and get rid of two more. Market, keep an eye on it. Where are we at? $1.12. I'm going to keep an eye. We're down on that line. So if we break that line, I'll keep three other shares. I want to lock up two more. Because we are going to take that 30 cents, which is about 30%, more than 30% gain, 40, almost 40% gain on this so far. So we did exactly what I thought it would do. So we got three shares left and we're going to do a limit on that. We don't want to lose. We want to do a stop on those three. And I want to set them at, we bought at 81. I'm willing to let that get down to... Well, what would be 20% gain on it? No, 10%. No, I'll let it get down to 10% gain, which would be 90 cents. So that would close us out if we hit 90. Uh, so if it goes more, we let it ride. We try to get a doubler out of this. And that's good because, you know, we got a couple hundred bucks there, I think, right? Three, yep, a couple hundred bucks worth. So we'll let it go. Um, <clears throat> this is how you trade. So if you guys, hopefully you guys are liking this. Quick 30%. Like I said, I don't want anybody trading with me. If you guys are, that's your own risk. Do not go crazy. I am, I'm very experienced at this. Um, you know, it is what it is. So nice. So I got a couple hundred bucks in there. We can see if we can get a doubler, make another day out of this. Uh, it, it's interesting. So you can rewind this section if you want. See how we looked at it. Why we looked at the resistance of the 50. Has it been resistance? This isn't a bearish move, so the bullish gave us an idea that we could see a pullback. There was enough of a change here that we got down the crossing with my recipe, my technical together with the Bollinger. We were right on the uh, the midline of the of the Bollinger, and we had the crossing of the five and the thirteen. We got confirmation right here was the candle for confirmation. We got the RSI confirmation right here on this candle. So we did it right in here uh, a little little early, but then we got the, the flush down, which you would expect onto the support line. Now, this is a very important support line. This is why I sold most of them, because most people get greedy at this point and say, oh, it's going to flush. It's going to flush. And sometimes it does. Sometimes it'll flush down and you'll, you'll make four or five times your money. But uh, from my experience, most times it doesn't. It hits that level of support and it, it just starts to consolidate. And then it's another push up back into this level. 
And so you want to be careful. I leave some shares. I, I lock up over over 50% right away, 50% gone. And then I mess around with the other, the other ones. If you do this like this, you can make a substantial, you can make substantial gains. All right. Uh, it is what it is. Hot dog flavored water. My goodness, man. You know what I used to eat like that, Jack? You ever have those um, hot peppers in a jar? You go in a bowling alley and they have like the peppers, the hot pepper uh, meat, the meat, the beef sticks, the beef sticks in the big jar. And you, they just take stab it with something, give it to you and you pay like a buck or two for it. I looked into that and you might hear this. We might get stopped out on this, guys. Oh, yeah, we're right there. We're right there getting stopped out on this. Maybe. Ooh. It's all over. All right. Anyways, we didn't get stopped out, which is good because I kind of want to keep this position for now. But um, what it is, it has like pig heart in it. And I never knew that. And um, I looked at the ingredients and stuff. Somebody said, you eat pig heart? I'm like, no, I wouldn't eat a pig heart. Ugh. And I, they said, look at the ingredients on that. Because I absolutely love those things. And I looked, I was like, I guess I do. I guess I do. And I'm going to continue. So I have a big jar of those uh, beef things in there, man. Talk about hot dog flavored water. How about pig heart water? And I just oh, 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 eat it up like there's no tomorrow. All right. Any reaction, TMF? We did cover this. I will talk about it. I'm highly disappointed, but it was because of the weakness in the auction they had, which unfortunately was not good. This one, long term, my perspectives are the same. You are going to see pain in the economy in Q1, Q2, and the, the holders of long term treasuries right now are going to be smiling, most likely way all the way through 2024 all the way through because once the fed starts cutting and i do believe they're done raising rates i think they're done they're not if they don't raise rates at the december meeting that makes what is it five months of not raising rates and anytime they have done that before that has instituted a pause even if it's unofficial it is a pause they've always paused uh for the most part they have i don't know if you go all the way back how far back you go but they've always paused uh you can fact check that they may have once or twice, not, I don't even know. But for the most part, that means it's a pause. Even if they stay hawkish and they're whap, 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 we know that the next move would have to be a cut. It has to be a cut. And so then it's just a question of when. And so I'm a patient investor. If I waited all four months already, I'll wait another month or two. I'm okay. And I'm going to be buying on the dips, TLT and TMF. So when you see these big dips like today, I give it a day you know, let the, the dust settle today. I'll wait till tomorrow. A little bit of green, a little bit of red. Okay. I'm buying a little bit. So most likely that's how I'll finish out this week with a big move. I'll probably be moving some money from T-bill into T-U-T, uh, moving it from T-bill, T-B-I-L into U-T-W-O, because I think the two year is going to crash. The yields are going to crash. Thus who are already in are going to make bank on the, the price going higher. And even though it pays less interest than T-bill, I think over the next 60 to 90 days, the, the yields are going to collapse down. Uh, it's going to take up to 90 days. But once it does, you could get another 5, 10, 15% on depreciation of that. And you'll get the interest locked in there about three and a half, I think it is, three and a half percent, even though it's much lower than the uh, the T bill at 5.2, 5.3. So for those watching saying, what's this guy doing? That's what I'm doing. All right, folks, we are up on this trade now, 50, 60% on this trade uh, for the shares we have left. We're up to 132. It didn't stop us out, so we're going to keep riding this. We're going to make a little bit more money on this. So today's day trades, we're up almost $600. So it's a good day. Two trades, two big wins. Uh, this one could be bigger than the first one, depending on how this finishes. I'm going to change the stop loss on this thing. And I never did this on here, so let's go ahead and change this up. Oh, this is nice how they do this. I think. Great copy. Uh, edit replace order. Let's see what it re lets me replace it with. So let's go ahead, take this up, lock in another 10 cents on the contract. That'd give us 20 something percent. Confirm and send. Now we got a stop loss at a dollar. That would mean this has to come back down a little bit. Uh, we'll see how it goes. For those wondering, this trade's doing very, very well. Um, no complaints. Exactly what we had thought. Out of curiosity, anybody in with this with me? I told you not to. So <laughs> hopefully you're just watching. 
right now it's still very bullish or bearish. You can see it's coming down. The bread recipe worked perfect. I don't care what anybody says. They can say, well, I could show you an example. If you're smart and you look at the overall trend, you see we're bouncing off the 50 every time and we're moving down and we're in a bearish and there's no reason for it to change. And you get a crossing here. Of course, it could be a false signal, which you play those false signals. You line up your, your lines of support and resistance. And then once you see it coming down, you get confirmation that it did not hold. That is a major put buy. And you buy those puts and you roll it down and you make a quick 30, 40, 50%. I just can't understand. I, I see people out there who put a ton of things on there. You don't need them all. This simple bread recipe. I'm going to come on here and show it over and over and over again until people realize that you don't need to pay thousands of tens of thousands on courses when you can come here and I'll show you the best I can. And if you want to ask questions, hit mine up for only $199 for lifetime access, Discord, a classroom, courses, videos, everything. And one good trade pays for it. One. It's unbelievable. And I'll tell you what, we're going to watch, but... Oh, it's just too good of a recipe. Now, we are closing down on the RSI. We have a double bottom on the RSI. So this could eventually now get the next little, remember what I've been showing you guys. Remember what I've been showing you here. We're getting these, these bottoms, all right? So now we got another one. We got another one coming up here. We got this bottom here, a bottom here, a bottom here. Now we're coming down. We've been waiting. Where's the new bottom at? Is it here? Well, we had three of them right there. So is this the new bottom? And then we go up. We got a new bottom up down now we're coming up a little bit do we sink back down here do we get that that change of the direction here we get a little up a little up and then we come back down uh possibly possibly and we go here and we go down and we go up a little bit and down a little bit and it just keeps doing this and that's kind of kind of what we're going to wait and see we'll see how if it plays out that way or not now here's the line you're watching for so i should have probably moved this up to right here uh, and then this would come down a little bit, and that's how I would see this possibly playing out. So not sure, but that's what we're going to watch for. The divergence, yes, we got a lot of divergence down there. Right here, you can see this market going up, but we got everything going the right direction here, right here, a little bit. It's following the the RSI is following right now. What you want to do is see like a, a a bullish or bearish divergence with the RSI compared to the charts. I know. When I, I know people, a lot of you guys out there watching this right now are technical traders. We're going to see how this works out. Everything is a prediction and a model. I'm a statistics guy. For those who are following this channel, and like I said, uh, we got close to where I had this. Now, let's see if it comes through with what we thought. We got real close. Right there it is. And I would think it would come down. Hopefully, it doesn't stop me out. 113. No, it shouldn't. Now, at this point, unless it goes way above, then I would get stopped out. I uh, got up to my point right there. Now, the next candle I would expect to be red down or sideways. So we'll see. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. This is a good trade. Good day so far for the day trading. I'll tell you guys this. And we got 420 of you watching. Do me a favor. Hit the thumbs up. Uh, if you like this kind of entertainment, if you like seeing real money being traded and, you know, where this isn't and anybody can follow, hit the thumbs up for me, folks. This is what it's about. Hey, I asked a question in today's video. Right, here's the candle I've been waiting for. You can see my line here. So we'll see where this goes. Maybe it's a little delayed up to there. But I, I know, here we go. Maybe, maybe we got to go right here. That's it. So if it breaks that, we get stopped out. And we take our gain of uh, almost 300. So that would be a good gain. So we don't want to hear the, the chime of the stop out. Uh-oh. We're close. Delay. About the same amount of time there. So I would say right about there. Right about there. Time. There you go. Well, maybe one more. Oh, we got stopped out. Hurt. That's the the is the stop loss going. So we took a twenty something percent gain on that last trade. So it got down to my dollar, and we bought at eighty. So that was a twenty five percent trade on the last trade. 
We made 250 cents. So I'll pull this up so everybody can confirm because I, I don't want people saying he just makes this up. So we made $257 on a, what, $700? I don't remember. Was it $700 we put on this? So we just made $257 in a matter of a few minutes on a $700 investment. Uh, up on the day day trading, almost 500 here, about 487. Uh, so far, so good. And that could change quickly, but we're going to see if this how this plays out. Now, this is the next line, as you can see right here. Uh, keep an eye. We are reversing right now. We have a chance to do the same thing again, and I'm going to be watching. So now we're going to get rid of this thing. Let's play this. Let's continue to do this. Uh, right now, I did both, Adrian. I see Adrian asking, are you buying stocks or options? I bought both. For those who are just getting to the channel, I did share a Apple trade. That was a stock trade. I bought 10 shares of Apple at the low price here. I think Apple finishes higher than where we are. I showed the chart. Why? Rewind the video if you'd like to see that. And I did, I'm did. i trading uh, zero DTEs, one minute chart. These are extreme high risk. Do not buy anything I buy. Just watch, smile, and just see how I do it. This is not financial advice. This is financial entertainment at its peak. I don't want anybody doing what I do. Uh, some of these will lose and they will lose drastically, 20, 30, 40%. I set a stop loss usually at 20 to 30%. I plan on hitting two out of three. So for every two I hit for 20 to 30%, I lose one at 20 to 30%. That are my, that's my statistics. For those who have been following me, I have like 16 or 17 wins and like, uh, I think five losses. So it's hitting right in there. We're actually doing a little better than I normally do on the YouTube channel. Uh, like I said, today, two winners so far, no losers. And so that gets us almost three to one wins. So for every three wins, I'm getting one loss. So keep that in mind. So anybody watching thinking, well, how's he doing? I've been sharing all my results. And uh, now we're seeing this right here. Look at this. Like I said, almost like a little double top. Um, I might jump back in, depending here, just to tell you guys, I'm not out of, like, I'm not here just to shoot the breeze. I still want to make a little bit more money. We are down to the last hour of trading, though. So I could cut it today and, and make it a, a good day at $500 up in day trading and come back. So I might do that. Uh, we've been on here over an hour, and I told Mrs. Mo that I would get the video done before four. So, yeah, it is what it is. All right, folks. Now, eh, we'll, we'll watch this for now. If you haven't done it, you're going to want to come over and join. Sign up for the Patreon link down there for Stockmo. I'm going to be doing live streams just like this for those people only where we talk about it, answer questions, technical questions, stocks you're looking into. So if you want to support me, come on over. This is it. It was the Polish dogs. Did we have the Polish dogs? I don't know. The Polish dogs. Um, yeah, they're good. The kielbasa is good. The kielbasa is good. But it wasn't that. It was the. It was like little beef sticks, but they're Fat bee sticks. And uh, boy, they stunk like they got the vinegar in there and the garlic. Oh, they were so good. Ah, they got me hungry for one. I have to bring up, I think I have a jar of it downstairs. I have to, I know Mrs. Mo hates it because boy, your breath reeks after you eat that. Do you have Microsoft? I do not, but I do have TQQQ. If that gives you an idea, I do like Microsoft. I'll tell you what, why don't you guys put some stocks down here? I'll pull up the charts, give you a quick one. Uh, let's call it a day. I'm going to take my $500 we made, I made. Uh, I want you guys to know if you watch these, I'm going to be doing that all the time. I don't want to force trades, but I can give you uh, my opinion on technicals. And so I will do that right now. Put a few stocks that you're interested in, and they don't have to be the big ones or the small ones. I'll give you the day chart. I'm going to give you my personal opinion based on the statistics and the technicals I use. It'll be quick, very quick, and I'll let you know what I think is going to happen. Now, as starting with Microsoft, Microsoft got up close on my RSI for the sell that plays right into what I just told you with what I expect is going to happen is we had a very nice push up. I expect a little bit of a pullback and then the next run up. And then at this point, we'll see where we go. This will be January and that could be a pop up a little bit more or the collapse down. We're not sure, but this is where I see it. We have the five crossing the 13 down here, 13 finally crossed in October and now it's riding it. It's beautiful. This is spreading out. The volatility is nice. We'll have a little consolidation, maybe a little sell off down. And then at that point, you're going to see another turn up. It's going to look like this right here, though, maybe a little bit down. And then you're going to have your next leg up. We absolutely got too close to the uh, Bollinger Band at the top here. You give it a little time to consolidate. This will narrow down. And then we have the next leg up. So there it goes. Your quick one on, uh, quick one on, you guys all hit it up, man. I'm going to go right in order here. Whoever's quickest, 
in this class, we're going to reward the fastest. All right. So then we go down uh, our CCCV visa. Disney. Next up on the list, Disney. Let's go. Disney it is. Uh, boy, you can see I already charted this one day. I told you on the last video that I liked Disney. I said I was bullish on Disney with the confirmation using my recipe. And of course, right here was confirmation. This is the day I said I liked it long term. People told me I was nuts. I said, no, you're going to see a pop. I said the chart, the, the recipe, we got confirmation on here with the RSI. I said the five crossed the 13 and we got confirmation. I said if the five crosses the, the 50 and the 13 crosses the 50, expect a big leg up. Boom, boom, boom. Four days later was today. And look at this. Just like clockwork, folks. So yes, it, it I got to get that off there. You guys can't see the RSI. So right here is exactly what I said would happen. And now at this point, we are at the Bollinger Band, which it means we'll probably get some consolidation. Could be one big leg up, but I would expect in the next two or three days just to have a little sideways action and then up more. This is definitely bullish. I like Disney. I liked it then and it paid off for those who watched. Uh, yeah. Any thoughts on X, X Pung? Yeah, let's throw up X Pung. That's a different one because that's a lot of that's related to the, the stimulus and the quantitative easing they're doing in China. So this is a little bit different to do. Uh, right now, I can tell you using my method, it does look bullish. We had a nice run up here. But is this going to be a false signal? We don't know because now we're getting back under the RSI. This is what I call a warning shot if you're long. Uh, because if this does cross down, we confirm that this reversed. We are back in that bearish. And this was a this is a uh, a trap. This was a trap. And then we come back down. So I would be concerned at this point if we have two days of red and this crosses down with confirmation, I would be back to bearish right now. You, what you are looking for is that five to bounce off of the 50 or the 13 and we go back up higher to where we were. If if we get back down below 1550 on this one, I would be extremely bearish. All right. So your line for that one's 1550. Uh, is that Fiverr? I haven't looked up Fiverr in a long time. Let's take a look at it. Fiverr. Oh, uh, Fiverr. We did not get confirmation on my sideways is not confirmation. So even though you had a crossing of the right here is not confirmation. We need one more day up. We didn't get it. So right now it's a little bit bearish. So I think this would be what we'd call a trap. We hit the 50. It got rejected soundly three times. That's not good. I'm just to tell you. And so technically speaking, we hit the 50, bounced down, bounced down off of it. Got ab opened above the 50, back below. Uh, started on here, uh, or started right here, got all the way up to the 50 again, pushed back down. In other words, that 50 is a major line of resistance. If you want to see this thing break, it has to break this. Once it can finish up there and confirm, I would feel better about going in a bullish position. But at this particular moment, your line in the sand is 2441. That is difficult. If it can't break that, uh, you might have a little consolidation and probably more downward push. It's been bearish for a while. And we tried to make turn the corner, but we weren't. But the good news for you is when the market rises, all ships go higher. So if we can see the market overall turn, which I think it's going, going to in November 20th, you could see this thing, give it a good battle and get back up there. So remember... If the overall market goes higher, most stocks do go higher with it. In a normal boring pattern, there are stocks up and stocks down. So I'll give you that idea. All right. MP mater materials up on the list. We'll go quicker on this so we can get more done. Woo. Well, this is absolutely bearish. There is no question on this. Uh, trend trading, you can just see it. This channel is just well-defined, absolutely underneath. Uh, we're a little low on the Bo Bollinger Band, but this is... I'm going to be honest with you guys. If you're in a long position, this doesn't look all this I, doesn't look all warm and fuzzy. Uh, you can see the the RSI down here just looks nasty. This looks nasty. Everything's well formed. Yeah, don't like it. Don't like that one at all. Uh, DraftKings. We'll take a look at DraftKings here. We'll pull up DraftKings. And da -da, ooh, nice. I uh, got high on the bottle on the Bollinger Band. Touched it again. Would expect a pullback, which you're getting now because of this. It just got overbought. Uh, confirmation was right here. So here was your confirmation on everything. So it did go higher after that's when you should have bought on that day. But you know, the only warning I have is this, when you hit this, you expect to see a little consolidation, which you're going to get, uh, at this point, 
it's looking good. Uh, you got everything crossing. Five crossed to 13, 13 crossed to 50. I would expect this to move higher at this point. So this one I would say is okay. Uh, now, it doesn't mean it's going to happen, man. Mara, we'll go Mara. I got to tell you, Mara is going to be related to the crypto industry. So Mara should be exploding today. I have not looked. Uh, but that's what I would expect with Mara based on the day chart. Oh, wow. It did explode up today, but got pushed back down. So I'm going to guess Ethereum. Is Ethereum back down a little bit? Uh, where are we at? 24 hour, 210. So Ethereum's up nicely 5% today. Uh, so we are looking at that. So Mara, let's take a look at Mara. All right, chart for Mara. We got up here. We need one more uptick for a confirmation. Did not get it. So we got rejected on using my recipe. The 5 over the 13 is not rejected. That actually got confirmed. But the second part of mine, the safety measure, did not get confirmed, which is the RSI. So at this point, I'd want to see the RSI finish above 57.75 before I thought we were confirmed. And we did not get that yet. But with crypto pumping, this usually lags, I notice. It is looking obviously decent. It's been moving. It's all over the place. That's the thing about this stock. Uh, you can see that we've been following the 50 as well. Pushed down under the 50, pushed under the 50, got above the 50. Good. Did we confirm? No. Push back down. Push back down. That 50 is your line in the sand. Finish above the 50, confirm above the 50, feel good about the 50. 9.52 is your price. You want to finish above there and have confirmation on it the next day. I think that's a good sign. And then you can continue on. Hopefully that helped you out. Uh, Palantir, let's take a look at that. Did I bring that up a little bit ago? I don't know, but we'll, we'll throw it up there. Uh, PLTR. I just want you guys to know these are just my best technical estimates. But yeah, let's throw them up there. All right, good, good confirmation on this right here. Confirmation. And we got crossing. So yeah, this is exactly what I've been telling you. You have a nice run up. You get confirmation. And now we're having a little bit of consolidation. Mo, does that mean it's going to crash? No, absolutely not. This is a real, this is a typical pattern I see quite a bit using the recipe I use is where you get a little bit of a pullback after confirmation. It does not, the line in the stand, I would say would be right here at 1745. If it crashes below 1745, I just, I set my loss at like maybe 10 cents below that. Or we'll go down to this right here. It had a, uh, I always add up uh, like 715, 1715. If I bought this now, I would set a stop loss of 1750. If it breaks below 1750, uh, 15, obviously we are getting down below where we were after that. And we might fill that gap a little bit. We don't want to be in it if we're going to do that. I don't think we do fill that gap, but, and get all the way back down to here, but that's up to each person. And you can say, well, you know, where do we go? Well, I think starting like that last week and a half of November, all the ocean's going to rise and this one should see better days as well. But that's that's what I see. This isn't a bullish note. I see the I see the RSI dropping, of course. I see this dropping, of course, but I still feel OK with this one. All right, we'll do another one and then uh, I'm going to call it, guys. Cody, hope you're doing well, my friend. You have V.I.S.T. Remember, I'm just doing this on the technical basis, folks. Vista Energy. I'm not aware of these ones, but I will give you my opinion. All right. Now, you guys are learning quickly that I use the EMAs. Uh, it, gives, it, it gives a lot of weight to the most current data points. And in this one, it's telling us what, folks? 13 just crossed to 50. What's that mean? Bear. Bearish. Uh, we had the five crossing over. We get confirmation. So you should have sold out of this one on this. Right. And here's your confirmation. At this point, you would have thought... This is going to continue down, get out, take your puts or buy puts or sell your shares, whatever you're going to do. And then, of course, it did do that. So uh, at this point, just say you got a 28.57. It is now at 26.09. Could have saved yourself about 10 percent on that uh, using the recipe I use. That's why I like what I teach is because you can use it to save money and to make money. Or you can buy it. You can even buy a put option as protection once you see it flip and think, I don't want to get out. Maybe I want to get long term capital gains. I'm up a lot. Well, you can buy a couple of put options as protection. If you have 200 shares, you buy two put options. It covers 200 shares. Uh, so that's some of the things you can do. And some of the things I'll, I'll end up teaching over at the class. All right, folks, that's it for me. I'm getting a little tired. <clears throat> I'm going to go down and have a, a, a Pepsi to do the day. And for those who have not done it, just sign up on the, the Patreon down below. Come on over and join me. We're going to be doing live streams, answering questions, doing charts, live trading, all kinds of things. It's been a great day. We pulled in almost. Well, what did we pull in here? Almost $500 in day trades. Uh, of course, we had a couple stocks down, a couple stocks up. 
and it's the day of the market. We will be back tomorrow to make more money. So for those looking, maybe we'll do the um, live stream tomorrow. We'll see. Uh, nothing scheduled, but that's what we're looking at. I appreciate everyone on here. I love you guys. We're all in this together. We can do this together. And that's the goal. Now, like I always say, let's get out there.